allow me to tell you that when the scans are in your face, Amen. you are blind. Amen. You can fight, people will help you. You can fight what? People will help you. You can go to a wrong direction. Uh, allow me to say this again. You know, when you can't see what will happen, it's very dangerous. I've been experiencing that. I, the last experience is one I was telling you. That what is it that was supposed to have happened? Tomorrow, they will just say, this man did one, two, three. It takes the grace of God. I don't know if you hear me. Amen. So now, think about, think about, you have people you don't know. Because of the scales. You know, scales are very dangerous. Because I can call you holy when you are, you are wicked. It scales. I can approve you when you're not worthy. It scales. Scales, they are there so that whatever you do, it won't be of God. Oh, there have to be a shame on you. Shame comes to you. Think about when you are studying this career, at the end, you find that this was not what you are supposed to do. So these are scales. Think about having a ministry where you're not supposed to be having it. Doing a wrong business that you're not supposed to do it. Our eyes must be open today. Amen. Your eyes must be open. Amen. Ask your neighbor and say, are you sure what you're doing? Are you sure? <laughs> look, look at your neighbor, you will see. Is what you are born to do. That kind of question, tell your neighbor, tell me, answer me now. <laughs> you know, this is a nightmare. The last thing that I can tell you is, can you see pastors? Yeah. Pastors, if the scales are not out, the pastor can suffer the rest of his life. Because a pastor is a person that God must speak with him. There's a lot of hearing God and not hearing God. Hearing God and not hearing God. Why? Because of challenges and the scales are there. If it has affected Samuel, when you look at Eliab, you say, yeah, this one. You need God again to hear he is not the one. I'm sure you hear what they say. Eh? Because your eyes can rob you. Earlier, when he, when he just came like this, like this and, you, and you look at somebody and say, yeah, this one. This one is the one. Or maybe he was working like this. Earlier. And when he stand there, he did like this. And here it becomes like, and they look at somebody and somebody say, yeah, this one. Yeah, he can win WrestleMania, this one. And go say, hey, he's a loser. You look at someone and say, yeah, this one can be a very good wife. Can't he? He's a lion. You look at that one and say, oh, this one can be a very good husband. Very soon, you find that this side has changed to be this side. You are beaten up. We need the scales to come down. Amen. Can you pray that by saying, You scales! You scales! You scales! You scales! Whoever put you there! Whoever put you there! 
grief is not removing you. This is not removing you. I remove you today. I am removing you. Can you remove? Today. Can you remove? I remove you. I remove you. I want you today. to pray that prayer. I remove you today in the name of Jesus. I remove you today. I remove you. 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 In the name of Jesus, I remove you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I remove you. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Don't be surprised why I'm saying, let's pray this prayer. I will tell you again. The reason why your business is not booming. It might be you have placed it in a wrong place. If God can open your eyes and say, place it there. You put it there. You won't worry even when it's not moving. Because you know God placed you. I'm sure you understand that. The reason why sometimes you question everything is because you, it was your decision. But if now it's God who can open your eyes, you see that, okay, I'm supposed to do the ministry in Winnie Mandela. Whether this happened, whatever, you know that God is about to do something. Yeah. I don't know if you're hearing me. Yeah. Whether you are challenged, whether there's a delay, whether there is a shame, whether there is opposition, but because God placed you where you are, you will smile because at the end, victory is going to be your portion. Amen. Lift up your hands. Father, I want people today, I want their eyes to be open Amen. so that they must not waste in a wrong place. Amen. I command those case to come out, Amen. to come out, Amen. to come out, Amen. to come out, Amen. to come out. Amen. Hey, Amen. hey, Amen. hey. Those who are blocked on the eyes, please take them out. Amen. There are so many, there are many that are going to touch it. There are many. I say, come out. You are in the wrong career. You are in the wrong business. I say, come out. Confusion, frustration is leaving you. I, I say, come out. Father, can you touch those eyes? Touch those eyes. Touch those eyes. Touch those eyes. Touch those eyes. Let the scales fall down. Let there be a change of direction. Let there be a change of direction. I say, scales fall down. The fire is increasing, yeah. You skate, you skate, you skate. Fall down. There's a fire that is coming there. There on you there, on you there, on you there, on you there, even here. Even here, even here, even here, even here, even here. Something is happening there. Yes. It's happening, it's happening. Yes, yes. Yes. I, there's a fire here, fire here. Fire there, fire there. You are anointed there. There's some people that are anointed there. Receive that anointing. Receive that anointing. 